So in the starter's hands now, lights are out, away they go. And another nice start here. Callum Barker around the outside there. Lights it up into turn one. As he fires his way through. Sarah Fairbrother there in second place, Brian Houghton. Then uh, Taylor Ralph goes through with Simon Dixon right on her tail. As they head their way down into gum trees. And all the uh, the 250 and 300 guys start to sort themselves out. Good to see Kenny got the 125 going. And uh, he's got a bit of a chase on his hands there now. So race leaders now head their way down through Siberia. Head their way up through the left hand. Looks like Houghton now moves up into second place. Sarah back to third. And Taylor starting to make a bit of a run there also as they uh, fire their way through down through Cops and into the fast section they travel Callum Barker already starting to uh, get on with it there now as they head their way down through 12 and make their way back up the hill onto the Pirelli front straight away and he has got a couple of lengths there as he fires it down the front straight away 27 for the opener as they fire it down through Brian Houghton, Sarah Fairbrother, Taylor Ralph, Simon Dixon, Glenn Chandler our front runners as they head their way under the bridge now Taylor Ralph moves up into third place Sarah back to fourth at the moment So they head their way underneath the bridge once again. And they go through. That's them. You can see uh, Kenny Croucher starting to make his run through the field. Having a look at some of the uh, you know, other riders there at the moment. Going very well in there is uh, Matthew Bushel, Kieran McGowan battling it out. In there also Mark Rogers up around about 10th place at the moment. So a bit of an improvement there for him on yesterday. It's a fairly uh, long race, 10 laps for these competitors today. And they get this, the sprint race. Well, they might do the start actually. So down the front straight away once again, Callum Barker goes through. 123.51. There's a... Uh, he starts to get some heat into the tyres. Brian Houghton at 123.86. And they all go back into the six, uh, 26 after that. They go through. There's from now, head their way up under the bridge. Glenn Chandler, a long time competitor. He's uh, in amongst it all there. Matthew Bushell in there, finished seventh yesterday, going very well. John Naffer and Mark Rogers having a good uh, battle there. Ray Clacker in amongst it all, Steve, Pete Irwin. Not far off it as well as they head their way down through that quick session. Rest of them charge on through there now. Still Callum Barker out there in the lead. With around about eight or so laps remaining. Still some uh, great dicing going on throughout the uh, the pack. Another lap under the belt. Oh, it's not a quick lap there for those guys to end the 24s. So up the hill they come now. Two Moto 3 bikes leading them around. Ryan Houghton going very well. Taylor Ralph on the, uh, the 250 Mono under the bridge. Same as Sarah Fairbrother. Sarah's doing very well into the 28s, Sarah. That's good to see. The rest of them fire their way through there now.
Most of them come on around there now, underneath the bridge. Ray Clacker, just in front of a bunch of riders having a, uh, a good battle. Another great battle there for 10th and 11th. Way back in the field, John Naffer and Mark Rogers, both having a, uh, a great ride there. Mark Rogers just on the other uh, tail, another long-time competitor to road racing. He's around them. Back in the uh, FZ 750 days, we had some great little tussles together, no doubt. So those two having a great little battle out there at the moment. Another lap under the belt there for Calabarca. 23-9 for him on that lap around. 24-6 for Brian Houghton. The rest of them go through there. Taylor Ralph under the bridge. Sarah Fairbrother, great to see a few of our lady races here this weekend. Quite a few to be to be honest. Simon Dixon, Glenn Chandler, the next two in fifth and sixth place. Matthew Bushell, Kieran McGowan. And then here comes this battle up the hill between uh, John Naffer and Mark Rogers. So they had their way under the bridge. And they got those bikes tapped there. Pete Avery going through. He sits back there in 18th place at the moment. Going very well indeed. So we ran about six laps or so to go at the moment. Another lap under the belt there. For Callum Barker, Brian Houghton goes through. Nothing uh, special on those laps, 25s for him. So uh, now they are starting to uh, pick up already on some of the backgrounders and uh, that makes it uh, pretty exciting for them, that's for sure. Four laps in, they're already starting to lap them up. Taylor Ralph looking very smooth underneath the bridge. He's been uh, doing a bit of riding in New Zealand this uh, this season, and uh, it's great. She's been loving it. She reckons you can really use the elbows and get in amongst it all over there. So uh, good on her. She's just having a fantastic season already, and she's off to Phillip Island for the ASBK next week, next weekend, on her Moto Three bike. Be looking forward to seeing her up here in uh, April for the ASBK. Battle still goes on. Naffa and Rogers go through. Billy Sabasse starting to come in on to that one as well. The rest of the riders going on through. Peter Lang in there on the 88 bike. Just out there and enjoying himself, having a good time. Thomas Williams in there for Tomahawks Racing in the CBR 250 double R. And our front runners head their way back up the hill. Four laps to go. Brian Houghton reeling him in. He went a little bit quicker on that lap, but uh, being held in the uh, the lap traffic, that's always uh, a bit of a handful. So this is going to go down to the wire with four laps to go. Houghton starts to, uh, to reel in now. On young Callum Barker as he uh, fires his way through. The rest of the riders charge on through. Glenn Chandler, and he's still in amongst that uh, that front group for the uh, the production class. I'd say uh, he, he running right in amongst it all. Maybe about third place, I'd say, in this class. Naffa and Rogers goes through once again. The rest of them head their way through. 
Rogers gets Naffa on the brakes, but Naffa gets him back as they go through the kink. Mark Rogers holding his line there. Naffa gets around the outside. Not quite. So three laps remain. Taylor Ralph under the bridge. She's improved heaps. Same with Sarah Fairbro. She has just uh, improved in leaps and bounds. So they head, she heads away up the hill. Just getting in amongst some lap traffic there at the moment. Simon Dixon, Matthew Bushell, Glenn Chandler, the first three in production. Charging in right behind her there. Aaron McGowan not far off her there also. Glenn Chandler. Matthew Bushell goes through. Race leaders. Next time they'll come round, they'll have a couple of laps remaining. So Callum goes through. Got a bit of a break there now. Over Brian Houghton. Heads his way up the hill. Two laps remain. Houghton. Oh. Comes around the outside of Michael Lynch there and just have to hang on to it very, very coolly there. Alex Heyman sits in 19th place, fastest time of 136.4. Just double check that. 136.49, his fastest lap set on the last lap there. Sarah Fairbrother up the hill, Simon Dixon right on her tail. As they go through. And the next bunch of riders. Glenn Chandler in there. John Van Munster in amongst it all as well. I think he's a lap rider there. So only one lap remains now in this class. It's the head their way. The rest of the riders come on through there now. Callum Barker now starts the carve on through. Lapping 10th place there as they head their way down. Brian Houghton still back there. In there for second. Taylor Ralph in for third. Pete Avery goes through for Avery Concrete Cutting. Taylor up under the bridge now, she's in uh, currently third place in that uh, class, keeping those points charging along, which is great to see. The Callum Barker once again for Power Plus Race Fuels doing the business. Sarah and Simon under the bridge once again. Both in the 28s there, going very well indeed. Then Chandler comes through. So the checker flag shouldn't be too far away there now for Callum Barker as he comes through, takes the win. Great stuff there for Callum. Second place in there, Brian Houghton. Once again, another fine ride there as the, uh, they head their way through. The rest of the riders come on through now. We'll get second and some three results through. Third place in there was Taylor Ralph. Fourth place ended up being Sarah Fairbrother. Great finish there for her. 28.006, nearly 27 for her. Simon Dixon picks up fifth place, first in his class. Glenn Chandler 